welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Psalms 126, verse 5 and 6. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with him. These verses tell us, friends, that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. There could be some sufferings today, some sacrifices that we make, sowing our faith, sowing our seed, friends. But those seed that we are sowing, though it might require some sacrifice, some tears, the shedding of tears sometimes, friends, we are told that when it bears fruit, then you will come back rejoicing. And therefore, friends, don't give up doing the work. Just persevere, friends, in whatever you're doing today. It could require a lot, as mentioned, friends, a lot of sacrifices that you could even shed tears. But there is a good future waiting for you, a great reward waiting for you. That's why we are told, friends, that those who, those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. When you reap your harvest, friends, you will be singing. Hallelujah. Those who are carrying seed to sow, friends, in tears, when they come back, they will have sheaves with them. The harvest is great. And they shall have songs of praise. Friends, this is the lot of those who trust in the Lord and does not give up. Yes, let's not give up. Sowing requires a lot of sacrifices. But much joy will come when we get in the harvest. So, it's rewarding, friends, in the end. Uh, this should be an encouragement to us to press on, to persevere. And uh, this is just to confirm, friends, what the Lord had said, that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. You will be rewarded accordingly. Yes, according to the faith that you have, according to the work that you do, friends, you will be rewarded. Even the Lord Jesus Christ was saying that, well, uh, don't uh, worry. He said, that, behold, I am coming soon, bringing my reward to be given to Israel according to what he has done. So what have you done? Have you been sowing your seed? You will be rewarded, friends. And in sowing your seed, there could be sacrifices. Yes, friends, it's not easy to sow seed. No. How about uh, watching the farmers sowing their seed, friends? A lot of work required, friends. And even after sowing your seed, you get to water it. And then wait for the harvest to come. All these things, friends, it requires some sacrifice. You get to persevere in your faith. Don't give up while waiting, while doing the work. Just know, friends, that every time that you sow your seed, be expectant that it will produce the best of harvest. Amen. Be expectant. Don't sow your seed without expecting that it will grow and bear fruit. No. Otherwise, why bother even sowing the seed? No. Just go, sow it, and you can water it with your tears too. That's why we are told, friends, that those who sow in tears, see, when you're sowing, you could be watering it with your tears. But when harvest time comes, rejoicing, friends, will come to you. You will have songs of joy. Hallelujah. How about that, friends? So don't give up. Whatever level you are at now, you could have sown some seed already. Now keep watering it with your prayers. Amen. And expect that something great will come. A, a good harvest will come. Just be expectant, friends. And the Lord will not fail you. Because he who promised is faithful. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.